Okay, YouTube. This is my 1S brushless micro whoop that I built uh, yesterday morning on a, on a Saturday morning. It took me two hours from flight controller setup until uh, I was done with the build to get this up and running. It took me longer to go ahead and uh, power up my 550 milliamp uh, high volt bat batteries here than it did to build this. But this is it right here. Isn't she gorgeous? We need another shot of this. So let me go ahead and walk you through exactly what I did to uh, build this uh, quadcopter. Okay, I, I quite literally just unscrewed the canopy to take it off so I can show you what's under under here. But, uh, you know, it's been a long time running to figure out on my property exactly what type of quadcopters, what size of quadcopters, you know, I can really realistically, realistically fly. Uh, on my property and uh, you know I went from the uh, GPS drones and to the bugs three size drones to these little guys and I found out uh, something like this and and something like this by the way this is my King Kong ET 125 and something like this and by the way this is my Eosheen EX2 also known as the bugs three mini right here sporting a nice run cam in there but realistically that these size quads are the best quads for me to fly around my trees around my property well first of all let's, let's start with the uh, flight controller i have the beta fpv f4 1s brushless flight controller it's got a fr sky receiver in here integrated escs and osd so it also has a smart audio uh, function for fpv and micro racing so this is it and uh, by by default it comes with the FR Sky D16 mode the FR Sky X built in the FR Sky receiver compatible with my X light my Tyrannus which by the way I this is a really nice controller right here nice transmitter all right back to the flight controller right here as I mentioned it does have OSD and I I did purchase a camera that would uh convert that over so I can see to my headset you'll see the videos I'm posting here of what it looks like uh, like I said is at uh, this this particular model this particular I'm sorry about the lighting here this particular uh, flight controller comes with the FR sky receiver in there uh, beta flight configuration shoot I, I it took me no it didn't take me very long at all to go ahead and get this set up underneath here there is a bind button and I found it, it's really small. There's a bind and a boot button. But you can go to CL, the CLI function, and just type in BL, hit enter. It'll automatically enter this flight controller into the bootloader mode so you don't have to go ahead and actually, actually um, push that bootloader button. There's two buttons under there. There's a bind button and a uh, bootloader button. But uh, yeah, you can do that through the uh, CLI, and it'll actually go ahead and, and, and um, restart the, the flight controller back into the bootloader mode, so you can go ahead and update the software on this. Now, on this uh, particular flight controller, uh, you know, sometimes you have to go ahead and, and uh, push in the battery at the same time as you touch, if you click that uh, bind button at the same time as you push in the battery. You don't have to do that on this uh, flight controller. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, start the bind mode on on the uh, the Tyrannus, plug in the battery, and if you push that bind button for three seconds, it'll automatically bind up. You won't have to go ahead and do the 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 battery and the bind button dance on this uh, flight controller, which is really a, a nice nice way to go ahead and get set up. Now the uh, flight controller. Now the flight controller comes with an F411 processor. Uh, can reach 100 megahertz, uh, much faster than F3 flight controller, which uh, is only 72 megahertz, I believe. Again, it has an integrated FR Sky receiver. This is actually compatible with the Beta 75 frame, which I'm sporting right here. And I have an extra one right here. It's actually the, uh, yeah, the Beta FPV Beta 75 frame. It comes with a, a pair of two. And I'll go ahead and leave links for this uh, uh, receiver here. I'm a flight controller here as well as the uh, 
the frame itself if you want to go ahead and build out. These are Beta FPV uh, 703 motors, 19,000 kV motors. Comes, uh, comes with STM32 controls for OSD chip, supports for smart audio, and that's about it for the uh, flight controller. And really, there's not much to it. Virtually all I did, I didn't even update this board because I noticed that the software on here is uh, August of 2018, which it's okay for me. There is a there is a new, newer version that I could have went ahead and uh, updated the firmware on the flight controller, but I didn't. It took me longer to go ahead and do the soldering of those small little pads that are really, really close together. That uh, and the only thing I wish this thing would have, they would have done was they would have separated the power from the ground, put them on opposite sides because you don't want to put solder on both those pads, or you're going to be burning out your flight controller, or well, actually, you're going to burn out your uh, camera first, and then most likely your flight controller if you do that. But I I was really careful. You want to use the uh, flat soldering uh, tip. You don't want to use a pointed one, you want to use a flat one. And uh, for each of those little pads, I put just a, just a smidgen of flux on there just so the uh, solder would flow directly to the pad that I was intending to solder. Now, I do use some really good solder that has flux in it, but I used a little bit more just uh, flux just just for so I could have some safety. This uh, little canopy here is just a, a crazy pony canopy that I kind of hacked, did a hack job on both sides so I could fit my camera in there. And and I put a little bit of a uh, double sized sticky tape. I left the uh, the plastic on this side because I just want to separate the uh, camera from the microprocessors of the board. I didn't want any bleed into the camera. And uh, yeah, that's it. Really not much to this little build. I believe these motors were 30 bucks, another 30 bucks for the uh, the flight controller. And of course this frame was like $4 or something like that. And these little uh, canopies were like two bucks. And if you look at the Mo Mobla 7 quadcopter, I believe that thing is like what, 65 bucks or maybe, maybe it's even higher than that, like a hundred bucks. You can do a much better job building your own quadcopter and this actually does I do have some wind today and I and you see from the flu footage I've been flying up above my house doing a little bit of acro practicing my acro because I really will fly my acro on my King Kong but uh, kind of scared but this right here you're not gonna break it uh, worst thing you're gonna do is maybe burn up a motor or ESC but uh, these are brushless motors so you know burn up an ESC on the board before you burn up a motor but just be careful if you do crash be prepared to hit that uh, your, your your kill switch on your on your on your controller okay I don't know if you can see this or not this is how I have my controller set up I got three models in there right now um, I have my uh, my B cores for my brushless micro whoop. And of course, this uh, new setup, I just named it Beta. And of course, I got my ET, my King Kong ET-125. And uh, really, all I have on here is uh, have it in D, uh, D16 mode. Let me go over to page, page 6. I've got uh, eight channels all set up here. I got my aileron, elevator, throttle rudder. And I got a switch for my arming. Uh, another the switch uh, two S A there, as you see there, is for my my modes. I got uh, uh, angle mode. I got a horizon mixed with air mode, and I got air mode. And over here, and on the bottom, uh, well, then, then I'm on seven. Let me see if I remember what I have here. Yeah, on seven. Oh, I'm sorry, seven modes, not eight seven modes my seventh mode is for my flip over after crash i don't have that fully set up yet i still have to go to uh bl heli to go ahead and get that all online get that all set up and i have page seven i went ahead and uh, already automatically set all 
seven channels on my endpoints. I find that 97.7, negative 97.7, and positive 97.7 gives me the exact endpoints as you would see in, in uh, uh, Betaflight. And I'll show you in a second once I get everything set up. I already got uh, my quadcopter connected here to my laptop on, and I'm already in. As you see here, I'm in beta flight. In beta flight. So, configurations on this board. I got it under a D, uh, D Shot 600. Motor stop. I uh, don't, I uh, got the motor stop turned on. Uh, accelerometer. As you see here, it's FR Sky X. That's the mode you want to be if you're flying FR Sky. Well, that's the only way you can fly that flight controller because that particular flight controller is for FR Sky. Uh, you can go to uh, CL here. Um, I type in version here. I can. T I had, did not update the board at all, but if I want to, I can. I can. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, let me backspace here. Okay, enter. Uh, it's a, a Matek 411 RX. It, uh, I figure that the uh, it's already set up in 3.5 August uh, 2000 August 14, 2018. So it's pretty relatively new. So I didn't even bother updating the board. I can if I want. In fact, I can boot this into. Let me do it right now. I can go into Bootloader if I want. And it'll start everything in DFU. Telemetry loss. See now if I'm, I'm in DFU mode. I don't know if you can see that. And I can go ahead and do a firmware firmware flash, but I'm not going to do that because it's going to wipe out everything I got set up, and I have to start from new. So I'm not going to do that. Let me go ahead and actually unplug here. Go back in. Okay, I'm back on COM5. Uh, connect. There we go. Um, PID tuning, I haven't done anything with the PIDs. Uh, here's my receiver. See, see all the endpoints? All the endpoints. There we go. Well, I can go ahead and set that one up a little bit better. This is at 1492 for the yaw. Uh, a little bit low. I want, I sh need that at least 1500. But everything else, if I, by setting up right here, you can get pretty much spot on here. I'm lazy. I, this is actually the long way to do it versus here, but this is a way to do it. That way you can get pretty close to where you want to be. And I got, of course, I got my switches. My switch back here. So everything's all set up. Modes I have set up here. Uh, I don't want to show unused. Let me just. Uh, yeah, let me show just the ones I've used. I got my arm switch right here. It's not going to arm because it's connected to the laptop. But I got my arm switch, angle, horizon mixed with air mode, and then I got strictly air mode, which is also acro right here. So if I go all the way down for my switch, now I'm strictly in air mode. Now I'm flying Horizon plus a little bit of air mode. Horizon mode is going to still go ahead and kind of give you your uh, your gyro, so you won't actually. You can still do uh, some flips and stuff like that, but it's still going to be gyro assisted. This is unassisted all the way with just on air mode. And it's angle mode. It flies much faster on Horizon, and of course you can do some wicked tricks on on air mode, and that actually look really neat in the goggles. I got my flip over uh, after crash connected to one of the switches here. But it, like I say, I have to get into uh, BL Heli to really go ahead and tweak these motors so it does flip over. Haven't done that yet. And uh, that's about it for the, uh, for the, uh, x -Lite. Hopefully you can see it's kind of dark in the house right now. That's it for the uh, x light setting up on the x light as well as uh, beta flight. It was actually really easy to set up. Like I said, all I do is power on it on, on the quadcopter itself. Uh, make sure this is in bind mode first, where it's tweeting out that bind. You know, you know, it sounds like a bird. 
it'll tweet and then you go ahead and connect this and hit that uh, bind button on this uh, flight controller for three seconds and they'll bind up you'll hear hear amber saying telemetry lost and all that stuff if you, you unplug the battery from here but it's actually really easy to bind this up really easy um, so that's it for a bit of flight that's it for the tyrannus and we're going to go ahead and get this off the computer and I'm going to put my computer away. But I want to go ahead and show you just a little bit of walkthrough of what I have set up on here. Yeah, here you go. We'll talk to you later. Bye.